Alright, hello again. Welcome back. Uh, last time we left off, we were we just uh, created a fruit class, and we created an apple object, and set the apple's x and y position, and then we drew the uh, object where it was on the screen. Now, the goal of this whole tutorial is to uh, track multiple objects. The um, creating an object. Uh, a fruit object really was just kind of the beginning so that we were able to do uh, multiple objects in, in a more easier and, and clean fashion. So where we are now is we've filtered out the objects, given them a position, and now here's the uh, part where we're going to pack them into a vector of apples. Uh, so let's head back to the code. And where we just have our single apple, we're actually going to put in a vector of fruits. And we'll call it apples. We'll delete the old one. And we will head up to top here. And we're going to actually have to include vector. Okay, so just like before, we replaced the x and the y with uh, with an apple, we're gonna we're gonna replace the apple with multiple apples, and this is how we're gonna do it. Okay, so scroll down, and where we once were saying uh, setting our our apples x and y position, I don't know why it's not underlined red, but it should be. It's not gonna compile. We're gonna have to actually make a temporary apple object, set its uh, x and y position, and then uh, to our new apples vector. Uh, we'll be able to push back the apple that we just created. And if you notice, um, there is a loop here, a for loop. So contained in this loop is the uh, apples vector. So as it uh, finds more and more contours and defines them, uh, it's going to push back a an apple for every single one that it defines. And then once it's done through this loop, when we go to uh, when we go to draw the objects, we're actually gonna we're gonna draw the whole vector. So instead of apple, we'll uh, we'll pass it apples. And now we got to go back up to our draw object function. And instead of just a fruit, we're gonna have a vector of fruits. And we'll call it the fruits just to be consistent. Um, so once again, we're going to use our little trick here. Uh, highlight the fruit dot get x post with uh, the brackets included, and hit Control H. It's going to come up here. But uh, what we have to replace it with is something different than before. We're gonna we're gonna have to uh, unpack the vector the fruits. Right now, it's filled with however many apples, probably like I don't know, ten or something at this point. You never know. Um, so we're going to have to do a for loop. So we say for int i equals 0, uh, i less than the fruits dot size, so it won't go, oops, won't go past the bounds of the, of the fruit vector. i plus plus. Encapsulate this whole thing in the brackets. And so, Every time it calls the fruit dot get x pos, we're gonna have to replace that with the fruits dot at the index as it uh, iterates through this vector, and then we're just gonna say then we say get x pos. So it's gonna it's gonna go through the vector, and at each uh, at each position, it's gonna iterate through it, and then it's gonna get the get the x position. So this is what we're gonna want to replace. Um, the fruit dot get x pos with. Let's put your cursor right here. By next, replace, replace, replace. Great. And now, like before, change x with y. Put your cursor here. By next, replace, replace, replace. So it looks like everything should be okay. We just uh, press F5 and build it again. And okay, I don't have a, I don't have an abundance of apples in my household at the moment, so I'm just gonna I just printed out 
a photoshopped picture of some uh, some fruits. And if we can filter those out. And there we have it. Look at that. We're tracking multiple fruits here. Pretty cool. Now, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, hey, well, yeah, that's pretty cool, but uh, it doesn't look anything like the video you showed in the introduction of all the fruits being tracked and it looked a lot cooler than what, than what we're doing here. Well, there's good news and bad news. The bad news is we're going to have to do a little bit more work to get it that way. But the good news is, is that we've uh, already started making our fruit class and doing the rest of it is just going to be a piece of cake now. So to add that more uh, complicated functionality, we're going to have to uh, we're going to have to do a lot more coding. So I'm going to I'm going to move that to another video as well. It's going to be uh, in the top right corner here.